Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Metamorphosis Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. The first card we have here is Obsession. Only you. Soulmate. Past life. Intuition. Beginnings. Longing. Divine Masculine, Return, and Peace here, okay, guys? So, somebody <laughs> somebody has an obsession for you, okay? You may or may not know this, okay? Whoever this person is who have this obsession with you, okay, they are, like, infatuated with you, okay? There's this adoration and addiction to you, um, if you will, here, okay? This person, whoever... The, the, First of all, this is either your energy or the energy of what someone feels for you here, okay? But with this only you energy here, this person has this obsession for you because it's like they want you and they only want you. They want to be devoted to you, attached to you. This person is craving you, okay? Spirit is saying that this is your soulmate, okay? Um... Someone that you could have a deep love connection for or with, okay? This speaks to unity and connection here. This soulmate is its not just any soulmate. Um, this is a past life soulmate, okay? So there's something, there's like the feelings of deja vu around this person if you are already um, in connection with this person. However, this could be someone who is at a distance, who is... A new person in this lifetime coming into your life at some point in time so it's going to feel like deja vu when you meet this person it's going to feel like you've known this person before okay um this soulmate this past life soulmate is coming back into your life here okay um i definitely feel like somebody is using their intuition or listening to their intuition you could definitely um be listening to your intuition or following your intuition um when you to come into contact with this person um there's this heart song type of energy you all may have some type of telepathic communication with one another as well um if not there's definitely this deep knowing this inner knowing uh type of energy as it relates to you and this person here okay however this obsession for you uh, like i said this person really desires you this person could like maybe already either feel really strong feelings for you or to even love you but it's like this person wants a new beginning with you okay somebody wants to try again this wants uh, uh if this is someone you've known before okay um if this is a new love coming into your life here this person either you or this person is aware that this is a past life soulmate person here okay however this person wants to try again they want to do over they want you all to go in a new direction they want to start over with you here okay this person is like really longing for you okay for a few of you all this may be um an ex of yours okay but i'm really getting the energy of this is someone new here okay we do have the divine masculine here so this is your yang to your yin type of masculine energy here um and spirit is saying this this is your soulmate okay with return here, like I said, this is a past life soulmate that is returning to your life for a second chance, a second opportunity, um, wanting to make amends um, from a past life with you in this lifetime, okay? Um, and with peace being here, this speaks to balance and harmony, um, friendship even, okay, between the two of you all guys, okay? So that's what's going on here. Somebody has a past life soulmate that is returning into your life here, this divine masculine. 
Okay, now if you are a divine masculine listen, listening to this, this could be a past life soulmate feminine coming back into your life. However, for the majority of you all, you may be a feminine and this is your past life soulmate divine masculine that's coming back into your life um, in this lifetime spirit is saying. <clears throat> so to clarify, by obsessions with beginnings, we have dreams here, okay? You could be dreaming about someone. If you're having uh, some kind of dreams about someone that you perhaps have never seen before, these could be very vivid dreams, lucid dreams. If this is, if you're seeing someone in your dreams that you don't know from Adam, you've never seen in this lifetime, this may be this past life soulmate um, of yours here, but there's something significant to dreams, okay? So you, either this person is trying to communicate with you in your dreams, um, they're dreaming about you, okay? Or you could be dreaming about them, whether you know this person or not, okay? Um this says share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality here okay so there's definitely something significant to you all's dreams here okay we have feelings with only you and longing so like i said this person has some very very strong feelings for you okay this person only wants you and only you okay this person is like devoted to you craving you desiring you like aching for you they want you so bad spirit is saying um it's time for you to take this says take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing here okay so, so there's definitely some very strong feelings and emotions um that someone has for the other person okay and, and once you all come together if you have come not come into contact with this person you all may both have these feelings for one another here okay so we have recognition here that clarifies soulmates and divine masculine here spirit is saying the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles here okay so when you do come into contact with this person the most high is going to help you recognize this person okay um it could be by sight it could be smell it could be anything um that that spirit give you some type of sign or symbol or clue or gesture to trigger your member to memory to remember this person from your past life here okay this person this person feels some type of guilt for something that they did in a past life this is the reason why this person is coming back in this lifetime here this person wants a second chance another opportunity with you there's a sense of deja vu here repeated patterns or even karmic lessons okay I see honor here. Perhaps this person, this person wants to honor you in this lifetime, but perhaps this person took this for granted in a past lifetime for some reason here, okay? Spirit is saying honor your loved ones and um, you will notice your relationship become stronger here, okay? So it's like this person has this honor for you or they want to honor you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? And last but not least, we have union here, okay? So at some point in time, you all are definitely coming together in a union here, okay? Just like this figure eight uh, symbol here, okay? There's something significant to infinity. There's something that's like never ending with you all, okay? Which is that infinite uh, type of energy here, okay? Um, you're definitely, your your intuition is definitely going to be heightened when you come into contact with this person here, okay? They're just going to feel very familiar. It's going to feel like you've known this person forever or you've known this person before. You all may get along really well. You might, you all may have a lot in common, okay? You might, you all may hit it off really, really fast with one another, but there's a sense of peace, balance, harmony, and, and very close friendship and bond here as well, Spirit is saying. So, um, with the union card, Spirit is saying the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it, okay? So, this person is definitely coming into your life, Spirit is saying, when you least expect it, okay? And the universe is definitely working in you all's favor behind the scenes here, okay? I definitely feel like that your spirit guides, your ancestors, the most high, your archangels, your guardian angels, the universe, Mother Earth... Is bringing the two of you all back together okay 
Now, this past life soulmate, um, you all could have just dated in your past life. This could be someone that you are married to in the spiritual realm. But in the physical realm, in this world, you may not be, okay? But this person is coming back into your life. This, is, this could be the reason why this person um, has very strong feelings for you already and it's like this person is like aching and yearning and, and, and desiring you so much spirit is saying okay so let's pull some romance oracles here you and this person could have had children together in a past life, okay, we have here stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Spirit is telling you that positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here, okay? So Spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life. This is the second soulmate card that you have here. Spirit is saying, yes, this is your soulmate. Spirit, what else is going on? So this person is going to be very flirtatious with you, okay? Um, this says extend your lighthearted energy to others here, okay? I definitely feel like that that's exactly what this person is going to do. They're going to extend this lighthearted, flirtatious type of energy towards you um, when they re-enter your life, Spirit is saying here. We have passion here. So there's definitely going to be a lot of passion between you or this person feels a lot of passion for you, okay? Spirit is saying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So we clarify intuition and peace. So we have trust here, okay? Spirit is telling you that this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? Some of you may doubt this encounter okay uh, this situation this person um the ideal of this relationship in some type of way some of someone may have trust issues okay um perhaps you've endured a lot in this lifetime um, um perhaps you've been hurt a lot you've been used you've been abused your kindness has been taken for weakness you've gone through a lot here okay um the older we get in in um the longer we are single, the longer we are alone, you know, bits and pieces of us seemingly kind of start giving up on love that perhaps maybe it's not in the cards for us or something like that or what have you. But um, if you don't necessarily have those feelings here, you could definitely have trust issues because of past trauma that you have endured here, okay? So Spirit is saying that this situation is calling for you to have faith here, okay? Look at that, bottom of the deck, past life relationship. So you have two cards here that says soulmate and two cards here that says past life relationship, okay? This says you have known each other before, okay? And spirit is bringing you all back together. So let's see what other messages spirit have for you all. You want to mirror each other in some type of way. Give us clear and accurate messages as it relates to the collective here. So we have here, I like you here. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting once a date. Okay. But this person is like on an obsession level for you. So if this person is already aware of who you are, but you don't know who this person is, this person has grown an obsession for you. Okay. They want this brand new beginning with you. Okay. This person really likes you a lot. And perhaps they have sat back behind the scenes and, you know, just held in what they have felt for quite some time here. Okay. Spirit, what else is going on? So we have coffee cup here, okay? So this says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship here. Some of you all may run into this person at a coffee shop if you are a coffee drinker. Um, or either you all may have a date at like um, a sweets and treats type of place, a coffee shop, or... Uh, some type of place like that, okay? You all are definitely going to be meeting and conversing more, okay? And savoring this moment with each other. Y'all are definitely going to be feeling very uplifted when around each other as well here, okay? Spirit, what else is going on here? So we have talking here. Y'all are definitely going to be doing a lot of talking. 
This says interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrive. Text calls, emails are hovering here. This person may text call or email you. And some of you are probably like, well, how are they going to call me and they don't have my phone number? I don't even know who this is, okay? If you're on any type of social media apps like Facebook, like Instagram, or what have you, people can call you um, without actually having your number, okay? Um, if you, you have that feature available on your social media where people can contact you, okay? Um, but this person is definitely going to contact you either by text, call, or email, uh, direct message, or something like that. And they're going to be hovering over their phone, honey. They are going to be waiting for your reply, okay? We have date here. So this person definitely wants to date you, okay? This says meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date here, okay? So things are definitely going to take off um, rather quickly for you all. Spirit, what else is going on here? So we have the butterfly here. You could give this person butterflies. This person may give you butterflies, okay? Um, this is the relationship is evolving, okay, to the next phase, okay? This also talks about healing the inner child and growth. Okay, this is this uh, kind of tie goes hand in hand with that trust and having faith um, in the relationship as well here. Bottom of the deck, we have healing heart here. Okay, I feel like either you or both of you all have had to heal from some type of heartbreak. Um, you've all have to, have had to free yourself from toxic relationships um, as well. If you have pictures online or something like that, this person may be looking at your pictures. With the sword in the rose gear, I definitely feel like that this person wants to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you some type of truth or clarity or give you some type of truth or clarity here, okay? So we're going to pull the tarot, guys. We're going to see what other messages um, come out as it relates to this situation for you all. I'm definitely seeing the lovers here, okay? So this person, <laughs> seeing the lovers lets me know that this person is um, definitely intimately attracted to you as well. Like you turn this person on sexually for sure, okay? But I, I do feel like it's a situation much more than that. Okay, let's see what else, what's going on here. I do kind of feel like that this person has been in the shadows. Like this person has been in the cut, like behind the scenes. Um, this person could very well know of you, okay? But you may not know of this person here, okay? And doesn't it necessarily have to be in a creepy way? Once again, like I said, if you're on social media, okay? If you're like a content creator, if you post to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, um, you know, any of those type of uh, platforms or what have you, this person could be in a circulation of the same thing and have seen you before and have sat back and have grown really strong feelings for you over time, okay? But this is actually a past life soulmate, okay? Whether this person knows that or not, okay? Spirit, clear for, clarify um, obsession and beginnings for us, please. Clarify obsession and beginnings. This person is definitely, this person is definitely wanting to communicate with you. You may get some mess, some type of message, news, information, or communication from this person very soon. Spirit is saying. Spirit, what is this obsession? What is this obsession, Spirit? This person definitely, with the two of wands here, this person like has made a decision. They know what they want, okay? Um, they're sure of what they want. They have clear vision. They're making wise decisions and they know that they want you without a shadow of a doubt, okay? This person wants to make you some type of proposal, offer, proposition of some kind here, okay? I definitely feel like that this person will be very generous and kind and giving onto you as well is saying here okay this will definitely be um quite the change for many of you okay a refreshing type of change here 
I definitely, I definitely feel like that there could be fulfillment, um, pleasure, happiness, even um, empowerment with the two of you all coming back together in this lifetime. There's that lovers coming out again, okay? I definitely feel like <laughs> some of you all may, especially those of you who have any type of trust issues or anything, you may be kind of standoffish at first, okay? Um, a situation may seem like, you know, it's too good to be true, or you may be really kind of questioning, is this person genuine, okay? Are they on the up and up um, type of situation here, okay? This person is very much attracted to you, okay? Yeah, and they definitely have their eyes on you. This person, I told you, this person has been watching you. This person has been behind the scenes watching you from a distance here, okay? With the Page of Swords. that The Page of Swords could literally be watching, stalking um, you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying. So this person has definitely been behind the scenes watching you, okay? A very close eye on you. But I see the sun here, which talks about happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, fresh start okay there's something to do with your work here okay for some of you all you may work with this person for others if you all um this person may have seen you through the work that you do or at work or or something like that or what have you spirit what else is going on with the soulmate this masculine energy so we have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is all about luck, prosperity, and abundance here, okay? This Wheel is in an upright and it's turning in you all's favor. This person is hoping to get lucky, okay? They're definitely hoping for the best as it relates to you all um, coming together here, okay? Like I said, you could be kind of defensive, feeling like you need to protect yourself in some type of way, okay? Um, and that's just like... I feel like you're in that energy just trying to protect your heart in some type of way, okay? But this person is very much passionate about you, okay? Very much passionate about you. That they are passionate, they are ready to passionately move forward towards you, Spirit is saying, okay? I definitely feel like you're someone who is highly intuitive. You could be naturally empathic. Hell, you might even be psychic for some of you all. But I definitely know you're really intuitive. Um, you're very wise, okay? Which is why I feel like the intuition card came out here. You could be in this high priestess energy, okay? So, um, when this person entered your life, I definitely feel like, you know... You're going to be watching and listening very closely, okay, to what's being said, what's being done, what's going on, looking for the signs and the symbolisms and different things like that um, to figure this person out, to figure this situation out. Because somebody here is highly intuitive in some type of way here, okay? Yet there's still a lot of motivation, determination, passion, and drive, okay, um, to take action and move forward in this situation with you here. This person is still very much motivated. Um, and coming towards you. Spirit, what else is going on here with this past life lover? What else is going on with this past life soulmate, Spirit? We don't have any face cards out here yet. This person is definitely lusting after you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This person, like, you really, you definitely turned this person on. Um... I do feel like this person may want something, uh, you know, deeper with you, okay? Because you all do have that deeper bond type of energy here, okay? That stems from a past life. Because, like, once again, like I said, this is not someone that you know or have met or you know in this lifetime, okay? I don't feel like this is somebody that you all have been with before, for many of you all, for a few of you all, it may be, okay? But for those of us who, who have healed and moved on from the past, we're not going backwards, we're moving forward, okay? This person has definitely hung around. They've been in limbo. They've been hanging around, waiting to see what's going to happen. They've been hanging around, waiting for the opportunity to reach out to you, to communicate with you here. This person can be financially stable and secure, This person may even have some type of management or leadership position or role. Um, 
of some kind here. This person could definitely be very much uh, financially stable and secure. This person may be a natural born leader, but anybody, this person could do anything in this position that they are in. Okay. Spirit, what else? What's going on here? Clarify only you. Clarify only you, Spirit. This person wants to travel towards you. If this person is at a distance from you, they definitely want to travel towards you. Spirit, clarify only you. Yeah, this person is so ready, set, go to take some type of leap of faith to have a brand new beginning with you. Okay? This is the judgment. This is the decision that this person has made. You could be a mother or a mother figure, Spirit is saying. You are you at least have one child. You're very loving, nurturing, caring, affectionate, passionate, compassionate type of individual. Um, I do feel like once you all get to know each other better, okay, it's, this could possibly be a very successful relationship here. This person has definitely been manifesting you, okay? You could have possibly been calling in your soulmate as well and been manifesting love in your life as well, okay? And this person is showing up because of it if you have. There's something about the universe here. There's something about the most high here. There's something about a higher power bringing you all together. Not a higher power here on this earth. Um, not another, not other human beings or persons in human form. This is a higher power that's bringing you all together. Okay, yeah, the emperor at the bottom of the deck here. This person may be a father themselves. They could be a father or a father figure. They could definitely have a position of power or authority, a leadership, management, um, business or anything like that. Is there any other messages I need to share with the collective? Yeah, this person wants to come in and they want to tell you their truth. They want to give you the truth. They want to give you some type of clarity. I feel like this person just wants to tell you how they really feel about you, okay? So this person see you as a sweetheart here, okay? Either this is how this person see you uh, as a sweetheart, very pure, or either that's how this person is. Wow, we even have eternal love here, okay? So this is your forever partner, okay? Y'all get together, y'all are going to grow old together here, okay? This speaks to eternity, compatibility, consistency, longevity, your soulmate here, okay? Spirit, what else is going on? What else is going on? With perseverance here, okay, this person, I feel like they don't care what obstacles, what hurdles, what whatever that they have to um, endure, get over, jump over, or what have you, to, to for their final resolution to having you, okay? This is definitely something that has stressed this person out here, okay? Like this person, this is the reason why this person is now overwhelmed with their feelings for you. Sarah, what else is going on here? This person wants to come in and make you some type of promises, okay? Some type of promise, proposal, or offer, okay? This person wants you to know that they're responsible. They want to give you some type of confirmation. They want to give you some type of assurance here. And this is where I feel like your intuition, I feel like your, your, your intuition is going to be on point throughout the entire situation here, okay? Um, but you're definitely going to be in tune to your thoughts, your feelings, the signs, the symbolisms, um, your intuition, your wisdom as it relates to this person, Okay? Because this person feels very strongly about you, okay? And I definitely feel like that this person may exp even express that. You understand what I'm saying? Bottom of the deck, we have daydreaming here. So you you stay on this person's mind. This person is daydreaming about you. That, you know, maybe perhaps they can't even work without thinking about you, okay? So we have the Divine Feminine here. Spirit, what other messages? We have love here. 
I'm telling you, this person already has love for you. This person adore you, admire you. There's some type of enchantment type of energy here as it relates to this situation. So give us one more. Yeah, we have Verge here. This person is on the verge, okay? They're about to reveal themselves or confess how they feel about you, Spirit is saying, okay? Because they've been in mental conflict about this for quite some time. I feel like they've, they've gotten to the point where they feel like they have sat back long enough here with Magnetic at the bottom of the deck. They have this, they feel this unexplainable pull towards you. They just can't resist you in some type of way here, okay? And they're definitely coming in to, to, to let you know this okay now since you have so many cards out here um referring to this person as your soulmate we're gonna pull some soulmate messages and see what this person has to say or wants you to know okay you bring out the you bring out the best qualities in me and the world sees it here, okay? So this person feels like you would bring out the best qualities in them, okay? And they want the world to see. We laugh, we sing, we dance here, okay? So this person, you and this person may be able to play and laugh and talk and have a good time and, you know, be total goofballs together, um, yet serious when you need to be and, you know, actually have, I feel like a friendship and a relationship a serious committed relationship here okay but you all are going to laugh sing and dance together or with each other while in this relationship here okay we also have here together both our energies fell out of this world okay so what else is going on here So we have acquaintances first, friends second, lovers third, okay? So even though this person feels this very strong magnetic attraction and connection to you, even though this is a past life soulmate, like I said, this is not someone that you have met or been with in this lifetime. So when you all meet, you all are going to be complete strangers, okay? But spirit is just letting you know that this is your soulmate, number one. Number two, you've known this person before. It's gonna feel like you've known this person forever, because you all um, were together in a past life. This person was your soulmate even in a past life. And they're coming back into your life as a soulmate in this lifetime as well, Spirit is saying, okay? But y'all are going to be acquaintances first, friends second, and lovers third, okay? Bottom of the deck, you understand me so well. I can be my true authentic self with you, okay? So this person really likes that they can be themselves with you. Okay, so let's see what else is really on this person's mind, honey. What else they um thinking about? Spirit, any other messages I need to share with the collective as it relates to the situation? That card went way. <laughs> that card went way over there. Um. This is masturbation, guys. Okay, this person could be masturbating to you. This person could be masturbating to your pictures, okay? Um, this person is just masturbating in general, okay? Perhaps it's been a long time, okay? Since they had some, since they seen some, or what have you. Um, you could just really turn this person on, honey, or whatever. But this could be coming out to let you know that, look, they're not getting none from anywhere else. Um, they are masturbating, okay? <laughs> wow. So what else is going on here? Oh wow. This person this person might be really lonely here. We got porn and popcorn here. Masturbation, porn and popcorn. <laughs> what else is going on in spirit? What other messages, Spirit, I need to share with the collector? We have here, I need you so bad right now. Okay, so this person could be feeling a little lonely, a little vulnerable right now, or what have you. Spirit, any other messages? Give us one more, please. This person could be a, 
This person could be a breast lover. Spirit is saying. The sounds of love making at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what other messages this person would like you to know. Is there any other messages? I want to take my time and make love to you right. That's what's on this person's mind. Any other messages, Spirit? You got the love that I need. Any other messages, Spirit? We have here, everybody is a freak. It just takes the right person to bring it out, okay? <laughs> One more, please, Spirit. Message for this past life soulmate spirit. One more message for this past life soulmate. Again, I'm seeing um, this person is definitely wanting you bad. We have here, sometimes I wake up and all I want is to feel your hands all over my body here. So this person is definitely fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you, um, <laughs> dreaming about you when they sleep. This person could even be masturbating to you as well. Spirit, what other messages do I need to share with the collective? As it relates to this situation. Somebody. So we have playing hard to get here. Okay. Either this person may feel like you're playing hard to get. Okay. Or perhaps they've been playing hard to get with you here. Especially if they're the ones who have been sitting behind the scenes. Not making themselves known to you here. Okay. But we have playing hard to get. Okay. Spirit, what else is going on? like it when you say their name I don't know this is either just in general when you say their name or um, during sex or what have you but considering like y'all haven't had sex yet maybe that's just something that turns this person on something that they like but I keep seeing that energy so we have here men don't all or men don't want to always initiate sex. They want to fake sleep while you pull your panties down and come on to them. Okay, so like um it may turn this person on for you to, to come on to them as well, okay. So we have here remember I will always be by your side or on top of you or under you it's your call to make okay give us one more please spirit i keep seeing say my name this person wants you to say their name or likes when you say their name or something give us one more spirit So we have here, if her back is touching the mess, uh, if her back is touching the mattress, you ain't eating it right here, okay? So this person may enjoy oral sex, okay? If you just laying there and, you know, your back touching the mattress, you're not really moaning and groaning and, you know, doing no extra anything or whatever, this person is going to feel like you're not enjoying it, they're not doing it right or something, 
and maybe they're going to want to do it until they do it right, okay? Because this person feel like if your back is touching the, mess, uh, the mattress, then somebody ain't eating it right, okay? But those are your messages, guys. I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may know that someone else is dealing with, okay? For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with an underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add a 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.